The notoriously fickle steamboat geyser in Yellowstone National Park has erupted three times since March 15th. Before that, it hadn't gone off since September of 2014. So what does it mean? MTN's John Shear reports. It's so loud. There was such a tremendous roar. It sounds like a freight train is moving through here. Those are Yellowstone National Park employees who witnessed the last big steamboat eruption in 2014. They described seeing a plume of steam rising from a distance. Then, when they got closer... And we get down to the lower platform and we just start getting drenched, rainy sand and silica. This is what Steamboat looks like right now. The eruption last week was a lot larger than this, but still not nearly as spectacular as in the past. A very robust monitoring network is in place in Yellowstone National Park that monitors earthquakes. And those monitors clearly show the difference between Steamboat 2018 and 2014. That's 2014 at the top of the chart. Seismologists say those eruptions were more than twice as big as the ones this spring. But that doesn't mean Steamboat is small. In fact, it's a monster. Even those little eruptions that we've seen this spring are 10 times the size of a typical Old Faithful blast. But Old Faithful got its name for a reason. You can practically set your watch by it. Not so much for Steamboat. After 1911, it went to sleep for 50 years. Then, it roared to life in 1961, picked up the pace in 62, and was spouting water at a twice a month rate through 1965. And eventually, took a nine year rest before shooting skyward again in 1982 and 83. So what's going on? A mass of very hot molten rock, which we call magma, moving up towards the surface. But what exactly causes Steamboat to wake up and go crazy at wild intervals? Scientists have an easy explanation. They don't really know. Still, most scientists who are posting about thermal activity in Yellowstone don't think this is a prelude to a volcanic eruption. And most say any activity is likely to be small scale. Well, sort of might be as large as a Mount St. Helens sort of eruption, or even much smaller than that. Maybe an individual vent that puts out a very nice Hawaiian-type basalt flow. In the meantime, enjoy the water and steam show. It's an experience unlike any other that I've witnessed. Spectacular. It's amazing. In Bozeman, I'm John Shearer for MTN News. Steamboat Geyser is part of the Norris Geyser Basin, and the road to Norris is now open for the season. But if you're traveling south from Mammoth, you'll have to drive through some construction on the way.